So your horse won't load. You guys don't need to feel alone. Most people, sometime in their life, end up with a horse that doesn't want to load on the trailer. You know, the first part of my career, I actually made a living simply teaching horses to load on the trailers. It's a common problem and something that you're going to see quite often. So how do we go about teaching a horse? How do we go about rehabilitating a horse to go back on to a trailer or simply just going on the trailer for the first time? It's a long process. It's a very simple process and everybody can do it. I've trained literally thousands of horses and out of those horses that I've trained and tra taught to load, not one, not a single solitary horse that I've ever taught to load in the trailer didn't go on. All right, or, and didn't continue to go on after I get done with the process. So this process works, I promise you. If you follow it step by step, it's gonna work for you. So, let's start out like we normally do. Let's start out with the observation. Observation is, your horse doesn't load, right? So, what is your horse doing in front of that trailer? Where does he stop? in front of that trailer. Sometimes horses will walk up to 10, 15, 20, sometimes even 30 yards away from the horse, uh, that horse trailer, and will just simply stop on their own. That's gonna be your starting point once you get to the trailer. And there's a lot of other steps that go into that before we get to the actual trailer, but that's gonna be your starting point once you get to that trailer. The other thing you're gonna need to look at um, is where, or what is that horse showing? What kind of bad behaviors, that aberrant behaviors is the horse showing you when he gets up to the trailer? You know, I've had horses that reared, bit, kicked, sucked backwards, all sorts of other crazy stuff. And in that point place, you really need to go back to my basic control DVD. If you're seeing that stuff, kind of stuff in your horse, go back to that basic control DVD and really work on that first. All right, you need to have some real basic controls under your horse or in your horse and, and consolidate in your horse before you can really begin to start teaching this trail loading DVD. So um, be safe. That's a couple of rules that I want to kind of talk to you about real quickly, and especially in the observation. What does your horse trailer look like? Is it nice and clean? You know, is it have a step up or is it a ramp? I'm kind of uh, hard on ramps. Um, don't really like them. Did a lot of training around them and taught horses to walk into trailers with ramps. They're a little dangerous. I wouldn't recommend them if, if you know, if, you, if you're going out and purchasing a new trailer, get a step up. It's just a whole lot easier to teach them to go in that way. Um, the other thing, what's the condition of your trailer? You know, does it look, does it look nice? Does it have any sharp edges? You know, make sure that the floor is good, the walls are nice and solid. Your divider, if you have a slant load or a two horse uh, straight load trailer, make sure that divider's good and safe. Make sure that the height of that trailer is, is proper too. You don't want to be putting a, you know, 17 three hand horse in a, in a 16 five foot trailer or a six foot five foot trailer. So it's, it's got to be proportionate to that horse. So, you know, make sure that everything's in working condition. Make sure the tires are good. Make sure your hitch is good. Make sure your hitch is on. Um, you know, if I've seen, talked to other people that, that have actually forgot to put the pin in and drove off and left the trailer hanging out behind them. So, make sure you go through your checklist. Well, I'm going to go through a checklist at the very end of this DVD. And I'm going to show you what I do before I go on the road. You know, I've put a lot of miles on the horse trailers and a lot of miles uh, pulling horses in horse trailers. Um, several hundred thousand at this point in my career. And I can tell you, I've had some hairy situations that I've been in. So I'm gonna try to teach you what I do in certain situations. Obviously, I'm not gonna put myself in some crazy positions, but I'm gonna tell you what I would do if, if that ever happened. Again, that's later on the DVD. So, next thing to do, we're gonna get a horse out, and we're gonna do an evaluation real quickly. Now again, I'm gonna be using one of my guys, Dylan. He's been on the road so many times that he's got more miles than most horses that I know. He knows how to load, this is not going to be a problem getting him on the trailer, but this gives you the opportunity not to only see me teach him to load onto the trailer, how I would go through the step-by-step -step process of getting on the trailer, but I can set him up in different situations so you're not having to watch me try to take this horse on and off and on and off, on and off, you know, thousands of times until he actually gets on the first time. So this is going to be much quicker. There's a lot of stuff in this DVD, just lots and lots and lots. So you guys just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> 